What's going on guys, Orzu here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have the 94 overall Summer Heat card Pulisic. Now, I'm actually surprised. I thought Rabiot was going to win because he gets that strong link to Ronaldo, but he's also French, which means he gets links to like Dembele and Ribéry. But, for some reason, Pulisic has actually won, but he looks absolutely ridiculous, so I don't really mind. He has got 99 pace, 98 dribbling, 91 shooting, 92 passing, and 76 physical. He is 5'10", which is obviously a nice height for a winger. He has got high medium work rates now. He actually had medium, medium, and they changed it. Really nice from EA, but what I don't like is that they didn't give him 5-star skill moves, or they didn't even give him a 5-star weak foot. Like, why? I understand you're doing the work rates. That's good and all. But come on. We all care about that skill moves. We all care about the weak foot. Give him those five-star skill moves. And I'm telling you, this card would have been 10 times better. Now, he is on a marksman chem style. He is on 10 chem. 99 acceleration. 95 sprint speed. I don't really have to say much about that. He will be amazingly fast down that wing. He has got 99 attack and positioning. 99 finishing with the 99 shot power he does not have any shooting trait which is obviously a bit disappointing but with 99 shot power 99 finishing i don't believe it's going to be too much of a problem he has got 87 long shots 99 volleys and 86 penalties as well passing wise doesn't look too bad but i definitely don't advise him don't advise you to use him in a cam because he's got 77 long passing and for me that's never going to be enough he has got 97 vision, 90 crossing, 98 short passing, 77 long passing, and 90 curve. Dribbling wise though, this is where it gets interesting because I see his composure. So I'm thinking to myself, Pulisic is a winger and he's never going to be a striker. Even though he has 99 finishing and 99 shot power, I believe that composure is going to come into play and he will hit post the majority of the time. So that is a big, big killer about him. I don't like how they only gave him 81. Like that right there is a tough one. It's a tough one to take on the shoulder, but we move on. He has got 99 agility, 99 balance, 95 reactions, 99 ball control, and 99 dribbling as well. Physical wise though, now when it comes down to strength, 71 strength ain't actually too bad, but I don't believe it's going to be enough to obviously outstrength people like, I don't know, Mendy. You got the new left back card that just came out the other day. Still don't know how to pronounce his name. I call him Arthur because it's his first name. But I don't believe he will be outbodying those kind of players. So we're going to have to be careful when getting into that contact to contact situation. Now he's got 99 stamina and 99 jumping, which is always going to be nice. I didn't really feel like this card had, no, I decided didn't feel like, I didn't expect this card to have 99 jumping but either way he'll probably be out headering i would honestly say six foot one and below now today i have linked him up i uh, have linked him up with Vieira and Firmino i've also got like said De Bruyne and Dombele and James in this team I will be using Pulisic today in a 4-4-2, playing him in that striker role. But yes, I want to try him in his natural position down the wing. So I will try him in a 4-2-3-1 as well. But let's get into the games. Okay, so the first thing I always do at the start of our reviews is just check how he feels on the ball. Please feel good. Please. Okay. It's not insane. Like, he doesn't feel like a Neymar or even like a, a Messi kind of player. But he feels nice. He keeps the ball, he keeps the ball very close to his feet. That is something I can see. Good pass. A little fake shot. Oh my god! Look at that pace. Can I have that near post finish as well? His composure coming into play this time, and I have no idea how he has slotted it straight past the keeper. For me personally, I thought 100% this was going to get saved because he did bring out the keeper at the perfect moment. But that 99 finishing. First time facial once again. His first time fake shots are crazy and he's paced down the line. Oh my god. Daniel James. Pulisic. Good RB turn. Gonna act like I'm gonna go behind. Double roll. Cut into the inside. Oh my god. Please get a double way across as well. That could have been an own goal by Adair Militao. But either way, do you see how good his dribbling really is? I said at the start he doesn't feel like a Messi or Neymar. But that right there just kind of shows how good his dribbling is down the line. But I don't, I still don't think he's up there. Vieira, De Bruyne, Pulisic, hit it with that left foot. And yes, we are going to get another goal. I'm really enjoying him at the moment. I love his ball control. I haven't seen him take one bad touch yet. And that little ball roll to go forward to get the angle. Look at it right here. That little ball roll touch was perfect. It gives me the right distance just to hit the shot early off and hit it into the back of the net. Firmino on the ball, Pulisic, 
This drag, oh my god, that went through his legs. Oh my god, go, please. No, why can't we get that goal? He is fighting for the badge right now. The amount of rebounds this card is getting is unbelievable. And yes, I'm still playing him up front. And I have noticed, before anyone goes into the comments, you know you're shooting with his weaker foot, right? You know he's right-footed. I do know, I do know his other two goals was with the weaker foot. And I am going to try to try that, you know, try to try. Try that right foot. Good touch. I'm telling you, he does not take a bad touch. That acceleration as well is unbelievable. I had to go for a standing shot there. Even though I didn't want it, the ball roll kind of just made it go straight. Like, just pretty much stopped the ball. So I had to take the standing shot. If that was moving, I do believe that would have gone in though. Good touch. Ball roll. Oh my god, ref. Do not even get away with it. That's why I thought. Do you see he's dribbling? I might take back my words. I honestly might. Maybe I judged him a bit too quick. Because right now, how he feels inside that box just by left stick dribbling is out of this world. Now, Sergio Ramos, lad, I don't know where you're going. Honest to God, I don't know where you're going because you're having an absolute mare this game. But let's see what we can do. 86 penalties. If you guys don't know my tactic, I act like I'm going top bins. I even click B top bins. And then I go straight down the middle. It usually does work. And it has it has worked in the past reviews. But I don't know about this one. Pulisic once again. I'm going to go to the outside. I'm going to actually shoot this across goal. Oh my god. What a save. His finishing ability on the right foot is looking very awkward right now. For me, this 100% goes in. I even took that extra touch towards the inside to get a better angle. Yeah, you could argue you should have hit it towards the near post. This guy's apparently going to leave. God knows why. But either way, I don't like how he's missing that one. Nice. Good first time fake shot. Use that pace. I know you're fast. I know you can outpace all of these. Look at this. Little ball roll to the inside. Ah, oh, you know what I was trying either way. I wanted that pass to the edge of the box just to see if we can actually get a goal there. Now, one thing I have noticed is 100%. He's a better winger than he is a striker. Up front, you have to take the shot very early off. And I don't really understand why. It's just something with him. If you slow down and take your time, I believe his composure comes into play and you end up just hitting it straight out of the keeper the majority of the time. Once again, a little fake shot around the corner. Pass there. Let's see his run here. You see that run. That is a perfect run. Ball roll to the inside. Fake shot. Pass it across. No. Good fight. Really good fight. That is perfect. No way. That is so, so unlucky. Maybe if he had a five-star weak foot there, that probably would have gone in. But either way, that Ronaldo chop just to get the angle, absolutely ridiculous. Little drag back. See what I mean about his movement up top? It's weird because, look, he gets into this really good position. All I have to do is that fake shot going forward and he will finish it. By the way, his shots on the left seem so much better than the right. It's crazy. And it's it's weird to say because he is right-footed at the end of the day. But that four-star weak foot, I'm really not understanding. I feel so much more comfortable on that weak foot than shooting on his stronger foot for some reason. But, yeah, movement-wise, he goes in behind a lot. And it starts to get a bit annoying because he doesn't really give me the option the majority of the time like I, like I uh, would like him to. But when it comes down to me just dribbling on the edge of the box, that's when he comes feet. And then that's when we score the goal. But if I try to play it fast with him up front, I just don't think it's going to work. So it is time to review him. And I must say this card is nice, but he's not up there. He's definitely not top, top tier. Now, when it comes down to who would I pick, Trezeguet or Pulisic? I would definitely go for Trezeguet, the five star five. So just, you know, just whispers in my ear a little bit. But at the same time, Trezeguet also has a outside foot shot trait. Now, Pulisic, even though he doesn't have any traits, the shooting ability on that weaker foot, the left foot, was so much better than it was with the right foot. And I don't understand why. But for some reason, he would absolutely smash him in with his left foot. But when I was shooting with the right, I could kind of see the composure come into play a little bit. Now, 5 for 10, I didn't have, didn't have an issue with that at all. The high medium work rate was nice in the winger position. But his movement up top, obviously with that 19... Is it 99? Yeah, it is. 99 attacker positioning with the high medium work rate in the striker position. It's something I usually like. But for some reason with Pulisic, he kept going in behind players, kept hiding behind players. And I don't have anything like getting behind false nine target man. I just simply have stay central when I use a striker. And for some reason, he didn't really do that. And it kind of got annoying in some way. Now, the four star skill moves, I wish it was a five star. Everyone does. 
But hey, it's something we are going to have to deal with. And it's not bad. It's really not. Like, the Burba Spin was really good with him. I would like... Probably say... The best skill moves with him is probably like the ball roll and drag back. I wouldn't keep it any more, you know, complicated than that. It's just so easy to do him. He keeps the ball very close to his feet and you can obviously create angles your opponent doesn't expect. Now, is he worth it? If I'm going to be real with you guys, I would probably just go do the Trezeguet SBC. It's like 100% is so much better. It's so much like the Trezor Gage, just having that five star, five star, having the outside foot shot trait, having the dribbling ability, even though Pulisic, I feel like kind of in a way feels on the same level as Trezor Gay. I just do not believe he is better than Trezor Gay though. Now, pace wise, he was insanely fast. Pulisic is 100% a winger without a doubt. Without a doubt, he is definitely a winger. His pace is absolutely ridiculous. And his 71 strength down that line is not bad. Is not bad at all. Now, shoot, I would actually give his pace probably... I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10, simply because I have seen faster players. Like Adama Traore, even the Daniel James card that I have got in my uh, in my team. And I don't think he will be outpacing people like Lala, Furlan, Mendy, Mbappu. All those kind of players will catch up to him. Shooting-wise, though... I didn't like his finishing on his right foot. I felt like it was more of a composure wise though. But his shooting on his left foot was very confusing. I feel like you have to take the shot very early with him rather than just take your time because that's when the composure kind of comes into play. Now, shooting wise, I am going to give him a 9 out of 10. If he could actually shoot with that right foot and I felt comfortable with it, it probably would be a 9.5. I wouldn't say it's up there with some of the best shooting though. Passing ability, really good passing ability. I like the little one twos and stuff like that. By long passing, eh, it was alright. It wasn't top tier though. So I am going to give his passing ability an 8 out of 10. Dribbling wise. Now at the start, I actually said to myself, he doesn't feel as good as Neymar or Messi. But after, you know, after using him a bit more, I start, to get, I start to get used to the dribbling a little bit. And I could not believe how good it was. He feels like an absolute god. He was sending Sergio Ramos for absolute hot dogs. And I am going to give his dribbling, I would say 9.5 out of 10. Now when it comes down to physicals, Really, really underrated card when it comes down to physical stats because I saw the aggression. He was fighting for the badge. The strength was definitely, definitely there when doing those fake shots around the corners. And obviously, stamina-wise, he did last throughout the whole 90 minutes. So, physicals, I'm going to give him... I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 because he didn't feel like 71 strength. He really didn't. If you guys actually get this card and you test out for yourself, you understand where I'm getting from. But an overall rating out of 10, he's good, but he's not insane. I'm going to give him an 8.8 .8 out of 10. I believe that is spot on. I don't believe he deserves higher. I don't be believe he deserves lower. But this card is good. But yeah, if I had to pick one, Trezegate would definitely be my go-to. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.